Hi, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. I am Alexis. For the purposes of the channel, I do go by Indigo. Um, I'll be doing a collective reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer for October 2019. This goes for Cancer signs on um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South nodes. I am going to start off with Oracle messages just for the surrounding energies for Cancer, and then I'll get into the tarot, the clarifiers, and then I'll finish with some Oracle messages. Alright, I'm just going to give this a few shuffles on camera, then we'll get started. Okay, what energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South nodes? For October 2019, what energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South nodes for October 2019? And any other time that this message may resonate for them. What energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer for October 2019? What energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer for October 2019? Okay, can I get three cards for the surrounding energies around the Cancer Collective for October 2019? Energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer for October 2019. Okay. What energies are surrounding the collective of Cancer? Oh, they gave me four. <laughs> okay. Um, bottom of the deck we have Envy. Right. Let me make sure all of these are. Yep. There's some reverses in here. So. Bottom of the deck, we have envy. This is pretty self-explanatory. This means that you, someone in your energy, is taking on some kind of jealousy or envy in regards to you, a relationship. I always say that because this is a 20, it has to do with an actual partnership, a relationship, whether it's on a professional or a personal level, friendship, romantic. Someone in your energy is taking on this jealous energy, all right? So that is the bottom of the deck. Move that to the side. The first card that came out was the Deceit card, all right? We have two sevens here so far. So Deceit, once again, this is pretty self-explanatory. Normally, this card has been coming out in the reverse, so I'm pretty surprised to see it in the upright. But once again, this kind of goes hand in hand with this Envy here. So once again, someone in your energy, Cancer, is taking on some kind of deceptive energy. Someone here is basically trying to manipulate, trying to get away with something. Someone around you is envious and not trustworthy. Um, your water sign, you're intuitive, you may already sense this, but definitely this is the first seven. The second card that came out was Goddess of the Moon, 52. So this is kind of like the High Priestess card in the tarot. So basically someone here, most likely it could be you, Cancer, Crosswatcher, whoever this resonates with. Someone here is very much intuitive and you can tap into like um, your natural psychic gifts, abilities to see the truth of this situation because obviously you need it. Someone around you is just not trustworthy, all right? Um, but these are your two sevens. These are literally the same two numbers, all right? So look into seven, seven. Uh, third card that came out is woman holding a heart in the reverse so once again this can either talk about someone emotionally shutting down their emotions in regards to a situation um, maybe someone is fighting off their intuition and also this can go back to this deceptive envious energy where someone is being false okay and if it's not that this is just someone here shutting down their emotions in regards to a person or a situation all right um, 44 that goes to an 8 so it can be a karmic situation it can be um, a cycle that you're in of some sort all right and the fourth card is reversed caring connection so this talks about possibly a severing of ties um, a broken <clears throat> relationship like I said this can this is most likely on a personal level um, it's either talking about a lack of balance in a relationship um, maybe there's um, a lack of harmony or balance and this could just indicate that there is a separation or a breakup on the horizon if it hasn't happened already but it could definitely be that there is some deception and some envy going on in regards to a friendship a personal relationship um, it could definitely be romantic with this woman holding a heart here all right but we'll see I don't like any of these interviews but 
we'll get into why they're here. All right, I'm just gonna move these cards out of the way. It's kind of hard to do. Well, I also can connections. This adds to a five. It's fourteen, so it does indicate fives are conflict, change, some kind of um, chaotic or tumultuous energy. Um, it's typically a forced kind of change, most likely in regards to a personal relationship that you are dealing with or have dealt with, all right? So, that here. Now I'm going to get into the tarot. Can we please get seven cards of insight and guidance for the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Nodes for October 2019? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Nodes for October 2019. Can I get seven cards for the Collective of Cancer, Insight, and Guidance for October 2019? It's too many. Can I get seven cards of Insight and Guidance for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? not taking these but it looks pretty serious okay all right so we got two reversals out so far another seven so seven 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 is an angel number for you all right can i get five more cards for the collective of cancer for october 2019 Another seven. <laughs> seventy-seven, seventy-seven. Right, can I get four more cards for the collective of cancer? Okay. Can I get three more cards for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Alright, we also have 666. Talks about needing balance and harmony within a situation. So that's another angel number. Can I get two more cards for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? One more card for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the King of Wands is someone who is typically very charismatic, he's someone who takes action, um, he's passionate, he's a leader, he attracts a lot of attention, he enjoys the attention that he attracts. Um, if, I already, if I didn't already say it, he's charismatic, definitely. Um, he can be a player, he can be, not always, but um, depending on the cards, it can definitely lean towards that, but for right now, I'm just going to say this is a very passionate you know, go-getter type of energy, someone who um, likes to have fun, likes to enjoy themselves, um, someone who is up for a good time. And like I said, this is someone who attracts a lot of admirers, a lot of attention. He enjoys it. He's flirty, charming, all of that good stuff. All right, so definitely you could be dealing with a fire sign. That's the bottom of the deck energy. So the first card out is the reverse seven of wands. Okay, so this is basically where someone is no longer putting up a fight, no longer being defensive in regards to a person or situation. When the Seven of Wands is in the upright, it talks about someone feeling the need to stand their, ground, stand their ground, needing to defend themselves in some way, shape, or form. Um, this is someone basically defending their territory, all right? Possibly someone even um, like blocking someone out or fighting something off. And when it goes to the reverse, it can talk about a lack of that. So someone either not wanting to put up a fight, someone dropping their guard, possibly someone giving up on a situation no longer wanting to fight for it. All right, second card out is the reversed Six of Swords. So um, when this card is in the upright, this talks about moving on, um, moving forward to more calmer energies, more peace, 
uh, leaving behind conflict, leaving behind troublesome times. All right, and when it goes to the reverse, this can talk about um, delays in travel. It can talk about someone returning to a situation. And it can also talk about someone here not being able to move on from a situation. But I typically see the reverse six of swords as someone returning to a situation, a relationship, something that they may have left in the past. Okay, or at least someone here is wanting to return. Okay. The third card out is the seven of cups. All right, so this talks about... Um, having a lot of options or a lot of decisions all right it's a it's a lot of options ahead of you okay sometimes this could talk about illusions it can talk about um, not seeing things clearly or possibly being confused or overwhelmed in regards to a situation it can talk about being overwhelmed by options we talk, it can talk about being overwhelmed by your emotions, but it can definitely talk about illusion, confusion, daydreams, fantasizing, and someone having a lot of options in regards to a situation or having a lot of um, decisions to make, okay? So the fourth card out is the Six of Wands. So this talks about um, like recognition, someone who gets a lot of attention. Um, someone wanting victory or success in a situation, but definitely this is an energy where someone here is getting a lot of attention, whether it's in their job, whether it's from um, a variety of different people. Like I said, if it's reflecting this King of Wands energy, this is someone who gets this Six of Wands energy, okay? Um, this is the energy of being recognized, being popular, um, and just enjoying the attention that you're getting, okay? Someone here... Uh, could have gotten recognition in a situation or someone here could be wanting attention or recognition or success or victory in this situation okay the fifth card out is the lovers in reverse this is also a six so when the lovers goes into the reverse it talks about um it can talk about bad decisions bad judgment calls it can talk about um the more obvious is a separation or a one-sided relationship maybe it's a relationship that is um someone broke up maybe someone here um, maybe a relationship is lopsided it's lacking in balance it's lacking in harmony and it can definitely indicate a breakup or a separation all right some kind of conflict has happened to throw this energy off balance um, sometimes I don't see it this I don't see this way see it this way often but sometimes the lovers can't talk about like Temptation, a tempting choice, a tempting offer, um, having to choose between what you know is right and what you really want. So kind of being at a crossroads in a way. But in this particular context, it does look like a separation going back to this reverse caring connections, okay? All right, the seven, no, the sixth card out is the ace of swords. So it talks about clarity, communication. It can talk about you know cutting things out but definitely it talks about truth justice balance communication coming into new ideas coming into clarity about something and it can talk about someone here wanting to communicate in some way shape or form the seventh card is the king of swords so definitely you could be dealing with an air sign um libra gemini aquarius the king of swords i think this is aquarius energy so this energy is someone who is very they're typically pretty fair and balanced. They're not someone that's really attached to their emotions. They, they're they more cerebral, analytical. Um, it can be someone who is very much detached, but this can be also someone who uses their sword to cut things out, okay? Um, this is a no-nonsense kind of energy, and like I said, typically this energy isn't, it's not the most emotional, Okay, so whoever you're dealing with can be an air sign, it can be a fire sign, it can be someone who is not really connected to their emotions. Okay, but I'm going to clarify and we'll get into deeper clarification of exactly what these cards mean. Okay, I'm going to clarify with the Santa Morte deck. <clears throat> okay, can we please clarify the following cards for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? for the collective cancer for October 2019. Okay, can you please clarify the following cards 
for the collective of the of the for the twins. Alright, can we please clarify this reverse seven of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Can we please clarify this reverse seven of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Alright, we have the Three of Cups. Alright, so this is typically a card of reunions, celebrations. It can talk about socializing, you know, going out to events, social gatherings, hanging out with friends, maybe drinking, enjoying yourself. Um, in the context of this, it can indicate that maybe somebody here is either dropping their defenses, wanting a reconciliation, or wanting some kind of um, sense of togetherness or uh, a reunion of sorts. Um, this can talk about also, it can talk about someone giving up on a situation, maybe because there was a third-party situation going on. I'm going to clarify it a little bit further. Can we please clarify this? Reverse Seven of Wands with the Three of Cups for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019. Why is the Reverse Seven of Wands here with the Three of Cups for the Cancer Collective for October 2019? This is annoying. <laughs> All right, so we have another seven, and so far I think we have two fives, so 666, 7777, and 55 are angel numbers for you to look into. Clarifying this reverse seven of wands and this three of cups. These two cards came out together. We have the seven of swords with the five of swords. So definitely this goes back to the deceit, and this goes back to envy, and it definitely goes back to this reverse pairing connections everything is already tying in so someone here has definitely had some kind of third party situation going on um, maybe someone here does want a reconciliation but for right now it just looks like somebody here has been very selfish and deceptive and manipulative in their actions in regards to a relationship or a friendship um, somebody here is definitely not trustworthy and this is the energy of someone one right here this is someone being self-interested self-serving um, just wanting what they want at all costs, not really caring who gets hurt in the process. With this energy, somebody always leaves feeling defeated, and whoever wins in this situation feels like it's basically an empty victory. All right, nobody wins when the Five of Swords is out, and the Seven of Swords talks about someone being sneaky, trying to get away with things behind someone else's back, being very manipulative and, decept and deceptive and strategic in their actions. Okay, so this is a person who knows exactly what the fuck they're doing. Okay, definitely third party and definitely somebody here is just like possibly not wanting to fight for a situation anymore because of said um, fucked up energy, fucked up action. Somebody here is just not really um, trustworthy or considerate. Okay. Can we both came out together? Can we please clarify this reverse six of swords for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Another seven and eight of cups. Shit. All right. So clarifying the reverse six of swords is the chariot and the eight of cups. So um, this is the second eight. So eighty-eight. Add that to your angel numbers. Look that up. Um, eights talk about karmic situations, um, cycles. It can talk about abundance and prosperity in a particular context, but more so in this context, it can talk about karmic situations and cycles that possibly need to be broken. Okay. Um, once again, the reverse six of swords is the energy where someone is possibly returning to a situation or they're wanting to return to a situation. But with this um, chariot card here and this eight of cups, this definitely looks like somebody walking away um, physically or emotionally withdrawing and walking away from a situation, wanting to move on, move forward fast, quick, and in a hurry away from whatever this situation is, okay? Um, and another way to read this is that maybe somebody here is trying to return very fast after someone in the situation has walked away. Okay? But definitely somebody here, like, so far it looks like somebody here has given up on a situation and they've walked away. And they're just trying to move forward. And, um, like I said, the other way to read it is that someone here is possibly either returning or wanting to return, um, moving towards a situation that maybe they or someone else has previously walked away from. 
Can we please clarify this Seven of Cups for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Why is the Seven of Cups here for the Cancer Collective? Why is the Seven of Cups here for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Yeah, definitely some illusions secrets somebody here had a lot of options and there was definitely some some things not being seen clearly in a situation um somebody here could have definitely been either a situation wasn't what it appeared to be and definitely there's some secrets here some illusions all right the moon talks about things that are not what they appear to be it talks about the unknown um it talks about things that are hidden from you secrets it can also talk about worries and fears and anxieties and, you know, subconscious fears. But strongly, this is like, um, this is the kind of energy that, that that clouds someone's judgment, clouds someone's ability to see things clearly. The Seven of Cups talks about illusions, fantasizing, daydreaming, um, and, you know, possibly being overwhelmed by what is before you, not seeing the situation clearly. And then that's amplified with the moon. So definitely someone here was in a situation that wasn't what it seemed like it was on the surface all right that's crazy but um let me see what it is oh, never mind it's a nine can you please go find the six of wands for the collective of cancer for october 2019 why is the six of wands here for the collective of cancer for october 2019 Why is the Six of Wands here for the Cancer Collective? Why is the Six of Wands here for the Cancer Collective? Can you just provide the Six of Wands for the Cancer Collective for October 2019? Why is the Six of Wands here? Really? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so the Reverse King of Wands, and it kind of flipped out in a weird way. So clarifying the Six of Wands is the Reverse King of Wands. This is a repeat card. Remember, this was at the bottom of the deck earlier. So once again, like I said, the King of Wands is kind of iffy. It's, it's, everything depends on the surrounding cards, but especially with the fucking King of Wands, all right? Um, his player kind of energy or his attention-seeking um, energy is amplified when he goes into the reverse, okay? So... When he's in the reverse, he's not reliable. He is most likely somebody who is a player, someone who is ruled by their impulses, by their passions. This is someone who um, likes a lot of attention, um, revels in it. This is very much like somebody who is caught up in the attention that they get. All right, This can even be prideful. Uh, someone flirtatious, overly sexual, or promiscuous. Um, someone that you typically cannot rely on. Um, this is someone who is definitely focused on what they want and the attention that they get and just <laughs> everything that you would associate with the player this combination is that all right so this is somebody who attracts a lot of admirers they enjoy it they thrive off of it and they don't really stay put and stay focused on one person because they have a lot of options okay and definitely somebody here could have been, um, the illusion could have been that this person wasn't what they seemed, okay? Alright, can we please clarify this reverse king of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Can we please clarify further this reverse king of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Please further clarify this reverse king of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019. Alright, we have 
and another repeat. So the King of Swords in the reverse. <sighs> Alright, this was the seventh card that came out. Um, this is coming out in clarification of this reversed uh, King of Wands. So basically, this is somebody who is most likely really selfish, right? Uh, this can be the reverse King of Swords is someone who can be narcissistic, all right? Somebody who is just not fair. They're focused on being right. They're focused on what they want. They can even be manipulative because they're typically, when the King of Swords is in the upright, it's somebody who's very smart. Um, they know how to express themselves and be very articulate. And when it goes into the reverse, it goes into narcissistic, manipulative energy. This could also be somebody who um, is irrational or angry when things don't go their way. All right, This can definitely be somebody who throws a temper tantrum because they want what they want when they want it. And they'll pretty much, with this um, Deceit card, Envy card, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, this is definitely somebody who will manipulate and uh, hurt people in order to get what they want because they just don't care all right so this is a selfish narcissistic player kind of energy someone who is overly concerned with themselves all right the reverse king of swords is not someone who is honest or fair in the way that he um operates in the way that he communicates all right this person is not reliable or trustworthy and the fact that this came out to clarify this can definitely mean that someone here is duplicitous in their their personality two-faced okay but definitely selfish and a player and just unreliable okay this is not trustworthy <laughs> it's really not and I now understand why the deceit card came out so yeah can you please clarify this reverse lovers card for the collective of cancer for October 2019 okay, six of, this is it yeah six of pentacles so another six can you please clarify this reverse lovers with the six of pentacles for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Please clarify this reverse lovers with the six of pentacles. Damn, so many repeats. Alright. So with the lovers, the first card that came out was the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles, it typically talks about equal give and take, reciprocity. Alright. In this context though. Um, and in the actually in the original depiction of the six of pentacles it shows one person giving to two people all right um, typically it can say that either someone in the situation is giving more than they're receiving and then in another context this means that someone is giving to two people or more than one person all right being overly generous in regards to like a relationship instead of focusing on giving to one person they're giving to multiple people all right and that can definitely make a um, break up a connection throw off the balance and make it very much one-sided okay because it's hard to give equal attention to more than one person as far as like a romantic relationship is concerned so definitely somebody here was giving to multiple people and it caused a breakup or an imbalance or conflict within a relationship and within a connection okay further clarifying <laughs> is the six of swords again so definitely it's like this is someone um, moving on from this situation with the page of wands this talks about messages offers someone wanting to communicate offer some kind of message or communication but um, unless there are children involved here this can definitely just be somebody who is not mature okay the page of wands actually all of the wands um, they're very they're very passionate impulsive and charismatic energies and with the page of wands coming out with these two this is another face card it's like um, yes this is someone possibly wanting to communicate but this also signifies immaturity um, with this uh, six of Pentacles and it, it leads to like this energy of of breadcrumbing where someone just gives just enough to keep someone holding on to a relationship or to a situation okay um, it, it could be that somebody here moved on because someone here wasn't was only giving the bare minimum in a situation they were only offering the bare minimum and this talks about um, within this context and normally I don't say this unless the page of wands goes into the reverse but to me this signifies a certain level of immaturity okay someone not offering much it's like they don't they don't really have much to give and if they do they're not trying to okay so definitely somebody could have moved on from the situation because someone was giving to multiple people and someone here could have definitely been um, receiving breadcrumbs all right someone just doing the bare minimum to to keep the situation going but not enough to sustain it okay 
Please clarify this Ace of Swords for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019. I am so sorry, Cancer. This is a... <sighs> yeah. Knight, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles. Clarifying this Ace of Swords. So, Ace of Swords, once again, this talks about maybe somebody here wanting to communicate. Within this context, though, it does look like somebody here possibly gave the axe to a situation, cut it out, because the Swords... Um, they can definitely be used to cut out bullshit, cut out dishonesty, cut out things that are not fair. Um, I do see this as maybe somebody here is wanting a new start and wanting to communicate, but this really looks like somebody gave the axe or, or cut out a situation. Um, with this being clarified by the Three of Wands and the King of Pentacles, it's like maybe um, someone is waiting for a more stable person or a more stable offer to come in all right the three of wands talks about someone waiting for their ships to come in all right definitely somebody could either be waiting on a stable offer a stable person to come in and communicate with them and it's like actually before i say that i want to clarify it further because i don't want to i want to be very specific <laughs> so give me a second can you please clarify this ace of swords with the three of wands and the king of pentacles but definitely somebody here um, could have cut something out and they're waiting for their ships to come in um, with something better, with someone who's more stable and reliable and grounded. The King of Pentacles talks about somebody who is uh, solid and loyal, mature, um, reliable. This is like the, this is husband material, all right? If it's not talking about like finances or a boss or, you know, someone that you're working with on a professional level, this talks about someone who's not a commitment probe, someone who's not a liar. Okay, so definitely somebody could have cut out the bullshit and they're, they're waiting for their ships to come in with someone more mature and reliable and um, loyal as well as financially stable. Okay, somebody who's ready for commitment. Okay, please clarify this Ace of Swords with the Three of Wands and the King of Pentacles for the Cancer Collective for October 2019. Hmm. Alright, so we got three cards that came. We have the Magician, the Reversed Ace of Cups, and Temperance. So, I wasn't expecting this many cards to come out. But Temperance talks about somebody here wanting to reconcile. Um, it can also talk about just someone here coming into the energy of balance and healing after dealing with whatever the situation is. But this Reversed Ace of Cups, it can talk about someone in this situation being prideful. But definitely somebody here was disappointed with the situation, possibly falling out of love. Um, maybe because someone here was very manipulative in a situation or in a relationship. All right, and it looks like somebody here is trying to manifest something new, trying to manifest healing, balance, and harmony, um, possibly with someone who is more um, more of the commitment relationship type, someone who can, um, someone you can count on, someone who can actually be in a commitment and not disappoint you. Okay, um, but definitely somebody here was disappointed and possibly hurt and just fell out of love in regards to a situation or a relationship and someone here could be just moving on manifesting healing and balance for themselves as they wait for their their ships and their opportunities to come in with someone more reliable and loving and uh, ready for commitment ready for stability and security within a romantic context okay and then um someone here could just also they could be wanting to uh communicate uh, that they are someone you're going to be ready to communicate that they're ready to offer and manifest you know a new commitment healing reconciliation things of that nature but this looks like somebody kind of cut out the bullshit and they're waiting for something better to come along okay hold on i'm just putting these back in order all right, can I please clarify this King of Swords for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Why is this King of Swords here for the Collective? Um, like I said, this Ace of Swords, it talks about clarity. So definitely somebody came out of the illusions and, you know, the secrets. And they're seeing things more clear, seeing things more clearly, all right, and, and more um, analytically, logically, all right? not really being in their emotions as much. Can you please clarify this King of Swords for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Hmm. Not too many cards, but the one that flipped over is the Reverse Wheel of Fortune. So the Reverse Wheel of Fortune talks about um, an unfortunate cycle. All right, this is basically where 
Uh, lady, look, the will of fortune is not on your side in regards to a situation. This talks about um, a bad karmic cycle, okay? Something where it's the energy where, like, no matter how much you try to make it work, it's like everything is set up against you, like, no matter how hard you try, you can't get things to go in your favor. You can't get things to go the way that you want them to, okay? This is um, an energy of being unfortunate, bad luck, misfortune, bad karma. This can be a karmic cycle that some, some of you were in. Um, there, was, there was no way <laughs> almost for this situation to work out. Um, and it just signifies that the cycle didn't go how someone wanted it to go, okay? But definitely... This is uh, like a karmic kind of energy, but tens, they talk about completions as well. So Whew, this was a bad karmic cycle. Okay, somebody could have put in, um, let me just, with this reverse seven of wands, this, it will make you give up. This energy will make you give up fighting for a situation because you realize that no matter what you do, it's not working out. Okay, because the the favor of the situation it, it's not it's not working out for you. It's not meant to. All right. Can you please clarify this reverse wheel of fortune with the King of Swords for the Cancer Collector for October twenty nineteen? Can you please clarify this King of Swords and this reverse wheel of fortune for the Cancer Collective for October twenty nineteen? King of Swords with the reverse wheel of fortune. Right. So we have the Ten of Cups, the reverse two of pentacles, and the reverse wall card. So the reverse wall card, it talks about a lack of completion or closure to a cycle. Um, some unfinished business here. Something or someone did not gain closure in the situation. Maybe someone left it. Incomplete, you know, maybe someone left the situation without fully closing things out. The reverse two of pentacles at one point, this was in the upright, so it does indicate that someone here was juggling at some point. Um, hmm. it's like somebody, somebody like feels like there's unfinished business because maybe there's still some, some emotion here, there's still like a connection. The ten of cups talks about, you know, emotional fulfillment. And, and having that, that happiness within yourself or having that happiness within a relationship. And it looks like maybe someone here feels like there's some unfinished business because there's still an emotional tie to the situation, even though um, the situation hasn't gone, it hasn't gone well. But somebody here, it's like somebody here is still like holding on to it because their emotions are still in it. It's definitely not finished. Otherwise, this would be in the upright. But um, somebody here is like, Is emotionally still tied to the situation even though it hasn't been going well okay can you please clarify this uh, ten of cups with the reverse two of pentacles in the reverse world card why is it here and uh, with the king of swords he is someone who communicates you know, so it could be that somebody here is wanting to communicate because they feel like there's some unfinished business in regards to a cycle. They still have emotions or, or feelings for a person or a situation, but um, it just hasn't been working out. <laughs> Can we please clarify this Ten of Cups and this reverse Two of Pentacles and the reverse World card for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Okay. So... So we have the the reverse two of cups. <clears throat> this goes home. <clears throat> Somebody here has a fucked up throat chakra. All right, because my voice was fine. Um, so the reverse two of cups it goes right back to this reverse caring connections and this reverse lovers card. So once again, there was some kind of imbalance in a situation, some conflict, a lack of harmony, and most likely a separation. Okay, somebody here was definitely left disappointed and heartbroken. Um, because there was a lack of clarity and most likely some dishonesty within a situation. Someone here could have even been cruel or harsh in their actions or in the way that they communicated. All right. Um, and it, like I said, this could also be someone that you are, are not in communication with because someone here did walk away. But it just looks like right now that this is dishonesty and a lack of clarity. 
the reverse queen of pentacles she can talk about someone who feels neglected um someone who's not getting that that reciprocity or that love or that nurturing energy that energy that she needs um leading to you know this breakup and this heartbreak all right because like i said somebody here definitely could have been a liar and harsh and just un unclear possibly in their actions in their words and the way that they communicate um, with this reverse world card here, it can definitely be that somebody left a situation and someone didn't have full clarity on maybe why things went the way that they did. Um, yeah, somebody didn't, you know, cross their T's and dot their I's. Someone definitely could have been left in a state of confusion, but definitely somebody here was not honest in a situation and someone felt neglected and heartbroken and it led to a breakup. All right, and in some instances, the reverse queen of pentacles can talk about somebody who's materialistic. You know, she can be the gold digger, uh, somebody who is not the nicest, can be mean-spirited, can definitely be somebody who is envious, all right? And it, um, and because she's right next to this uh, three of swords, it could be that, you know, maybe, because we do have the three of cups here, it popped up twice, um, it could be that in some instances this reverse queen of pentacles is the third party and this is why somebody was you know left heartbroken and you know dealing with a breakup but um for right now this just looks like somebody was neglected in a particular situation because someone wasn't honest someone just left things in a very unclear and confusing hurtful way all right somebody definitely was shattered by whatever whatever this is and it does look like a heartbreaking situation okay I'm going to clarify the reverse queen of pentacles. Can you please clarify the reverse queen of pentacles for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Before I do that, um, the queen of pentacles, when she is in the upright, she's someone who's very solid. And technically, we do have counterparts here with the king of pentacles. Um, we, so it can definitely be like a, um, a counterpart type of situation, a soul, a soulmate kind of thing. But when she's in the upright, she is typically somebody who is very warm and nurturing and loving. She's solid. She's typically the wife, mother figure. You know, she's also pretty good at business. But she's somebody who is similar to the King of Pentacles, just in the sense where she's mature, she's grounded, she's loyal, she's ready for a commitment on all fronts. But when she's in the reverse, um, she can be someone who's not getting the attention or the love or the nurturing energy that she, energy that she needs. Can you please clarify this reverse King of Pentacles? For the Cancer Collective for October 2019. Yeah. Okay, so um, we have the Tower and we have the Sun card. Something, a Tower moment here definitely happened. Somebody found out some shit in a very unexpected way. It most likely caused some conflict and some upheaval. Most likely it, it ended in a breakup, a separation of some sort. A lot of conflict brought with it. But someone here, it's like someone came into some clarity. You know, things were illuminated. So whatever wasn't seen or wasn't being seen clearly, whatever secrets or lies there were in a situation, it's like it, it came to light or it's coming to light. Okay? Um, but something here definitely happened unexpectedly. Most likely someone in this situation didn't see something coming, even if maybe they intuitively felt it. Someone didn't see a situation clearly. But either if, if you're not seeing the situation clearly now you will be soon okay but definitely a tower moment happened um and it definitely could have led to this queen of pentacles in the reverse being very upset and hurt and feeling neglected in regards to the clarity that she came into in regards to a relationship and a tower moment that happened all right also with all signs are here so you can literally be dealing with any sign but um there's heavy fire heavy earth yeah and heavy air Can you please clarify this King of Wands, even though I don't think I need to at this point. Can you please clarify this King of Wands for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Yep, but definitely there was third party situation right under the King of Wands at the bottom of this deck is the uh, Three of Cups. And it popped out again and we have the World card in reverse again. The Reverse Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and Temperance. So most of these are repeats as well. These were... Um, all under the King of Wands energy. And it definitely signifies that there's a lack of completion or closure in this situation. Maybe somebody does want to reconcile, but um, someone left the situation unclear, possibly confusing, and there was a third party situation. But the the Three of Cups and the Tempers, it does talk about somebody wanting reconciliation. But to me, this is just heavy third party energy at this point. 
And this could just be that someone here is now coming into the energy of healing and they're coming back into balance after dealing with this situation. Um, yeah, the reverse ace of wands that talks about no longer having enthusiasm or inspiration with a particular uh, situation. Growing bored, all right, no longer wanting it. Can you please clarify this king of wands for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Ooh, yeah. So this situation definitely could have, um, this King of Wands energy, it can go a couple of different ways. So either this King of Wands left somebody in suspense, in limbo, feeling stuck, and basically just, just trapped in, in their head in regards to a situation, right? When someone leaves a cycle closed, when there's a lack of completion or closure in regards to a relationship or a situation, it can definitely leave someone hanging in suspense and limbo not really moving forward and feeling stuck like they don't know what to do where to go um it can definitely make someone feel like a victim because the eight of swords talks about um feeling helpless feeling like you don't know what to do where to go um being stuck in your head feeling stuck and restricted all right being being stuck in negative thought patterns or being or feeling restricted in a negative situation all right but definitely either this king of wands is taking on this energy of feeling stuck and waiting or this King of Wands caused someone here to feel stuck and um, just left somebody hanging, all right? And a lot of mental conflict in regards to the situation because with this reverse Ace of Swords, somebody here did not have clarity on the situation, most likely because somebody was a liar, okay? Wow, guys. This is, um, I wasn't expecting this <laughs> at all. Uh, can you please clarify this um, hangman and this eight of swords in regards to this king of wands? Can you please clarify this hangman and this eight of swords in regards to this king of wands energy for the Cancer Collective for October 2019? Why is the hangman here with the eight of swords? Somebody here could have been waiting on um, an apology or some kind of communication. Um, somebody could have felt like harshly judged in a situation. There could have even been like a lot of um, miscalculations. Uh, the situation could have been a bad judgment call. Maybe somebody here took the wrong action. All right, maybe they're apologetic about it, but it definitely could have been if there was like some slander, some gossip, some envy in regards to a situation where someone here was just treated unfairly. Um, but this is also just somebody feeling like very apologetic because they feel like maybe they made a bad decision in regards to a relationship or a situation. But definitely because this is clarifying this hangman and the eight of swords, somebody here just could have felt... Um, in suspense stuck in limbo because maybe somebody was expecting some kind of communication and apology from this king of wands energy and if it's not that then this king of wands energy is feeling stuck all right stuck in his head feeling trapped feeling possibly afraid of what to do next maybe wanting to apologize feeling remorseful for his actions but definitely somebody here was left um in suspense and with the lack of clarity in regards to how a situation or a connection ended Yep, and the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. So definitely there was a painful or a harsh ending to a situation. Most likely there was a betrayal. All right, this talks about feeling like you were stabbed in the back. Um, I feel like that's most likely what this is. Somebody definitely felt like they were stabbed in the back here, causing them to no longer fight for a situation and just emotionally and physically withdrawing from it. Okay, uh, the reverse side of Pentacles, it can't talk about somebody wanting to come out of the cold. Like I said, the page of cups is there so it can signify that someone is apologetic or they want to offer some kind of emotional gesture or communication but the situation definitely ended very painfully and harshly and most likely because someone was cruel in their actions and they left someone in a state of confusion okay it could definitely be that you're not in communication with whoever this person is at this time wow i'm sorry my babies <laughs> i wasn't expecting the reading to be this heavy Everyone else's reading has kind of been on the up and up where most of the, the energy had passed, but you don't even have like a lot of reversals here. You have just enough to make it, you know, complicated, but damn. So I'm going to close with some Oracle messages. 
Can we get some closing insight, guidance, and messages for the collective of cancer for October 2019 in regards to the situation that they're dealing with in their life in general? Alright, vacuum away fear. So basically, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. They are able to, you know, help you to get through the fears that maybe the situation has caused you. Um, maybe someone here is, fear is fearful that the situation will happen again. Then this is an energy that you need to call on to help you get rid of that. Because um, with this Goddess of the Moon card, somebody here does have the intuitive abilities to be able to sense this situation if it is ever on the horizon for them again. So there's no need to worry about that. But um, in order for you to let go of the negative vibrations that the situation caused you, you may need to call on Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to help you with that. Can I get two more cards for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019 in regards to the situation? All right, so it says power animal. All right, so um, basically pay attention to like maybe the animals that you see around. So let's say you see a lot of butterflies. Pay attention to that. It could be um, an animal guide for you. Uh, let's say you see a certain bird around all the time. Pay attention to that. Look it up. See what it means. It could have some kind of intuitive message or guidance for you, okay? So pay attention to the animals that you see, the animals that you resonate with, you know, whether it's on TV, whether it's in in person in real life just pay attention to your your synchronicities and your confirmations can i get one more card for insight guidance and advice for the collective of cancer for october in regards to their life and the situation that they're dealing with all right emotional sensitivity it says honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to everyone including yourself so these two cards are kind of similar. It basically says to honor your emotions, honor your intuition, honor what you feel. Okay, if something doesn't feel right, go with that. If something feels right, go with that as well. But don't doubt yourself and don't feel like your emotions are are a bad thing because they're not. It, it, think of it as an, in, an, an internal compass to help you navigate life and help you to navigate the situation. Okay, if, you're feel, if you are fearful that this is going to happen again, know that you have your emotions and your intuition to help you to avoid getting this deep in a relationship or a situation where someone's not being loyal or honest with you. Okay, so we have those. It's at the bottom of the deck here. All right, Ascended Masters. It says, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. So kind of goes back to this, Archangel Mike, Archangel Raphael, as well as if you work with any energies, any deities, uh, like if you work with, um, Lakshmi, Ganesha, if you work with any kind of deities, just know that they are with you at this time. You have spirit guides, you have ancestors who are willing to help you through whatever this troublesome situation has been for you. Um, there's like no need to worry. You, you are being protected, okay? And most likely, um, even though this was a bad situation, it the tower only happens when um, a situation is not meant for you and or it's a situation that wasn't solid in the first place. So it had to be removed because um, the tower removes this, this illusion kind of energy, the lies, the secrets. It knows that um, divine intervention is needed because some, someone isn't being uh, reliable or truthful in a situation. It's a form of protection from the divine, okay? Um, okay, can we get some closing insight, guidance, and messages for the collective of cancer? for October 2018 in regards to the situation in their life in general. Discovery. Can I get two more cards for guidance and insight for the collective of cancer for October 2019? Can I get one more card for the collective? Of cancer for the situation for okay. So the first card is discovery. Basically, what this card means is that uh, someone realizes that the person that they love or the person that they are in love with is not capable of giving love or accepting love in a healthy way. 
so um, they have to part ways because one person is very loving and giving but the other person is not in the emotional spiritual space to be able to give that back in a healthy way okay the second card is enlightenment so both of these cards mean that you have discovered some new things about yourself about life about the person or the people you were dealing with most likely this um, situation um, it activated something within you okay you you now have a newfound clarity and spiritual awareness that maybe you did not have before which is why this tower moment had to happen to get you back in alignment with yourself and more in alignment with where you're needing to be with where you're needing to go and who you're needing to be all right the third card is reverse quest so this card typically talks about searching for something that was always within you in the first place all right and when this is in the reverse it can talk about maybe um, at some point someone here felt like they were not in alignment with where they were supposed to be but now you're coming into that last card is miracle so um, it does indicate that one you surviving the situation is it's a miracle within itself if you're still sane and sound and you're able to move forward that is a miracle all right but also this energy the discovery the enlightenment that's a miracle within itself because it means that you gained something from the situation, something that made you better, even if, even if it hurt you in the process. Okay, so be open to blessings on the horizon. Okay, you're being guided to something much, much better than what you've been through here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Faith. So basically, yeah, have faith. Have faith that things will get better. All right, have faith that you have learned. Uh, what you needed to learn in this situation, which is why it happened. It needed to activate something within you as well as help you to clear out the old and the things that are just not meant for you anymore. Maybe you've outgrown someone or something in this situation and this tower moment had to happen in order for you to let it go. But whatever it is, you need to have faith that maybe that things will get better. Okay. The miracle card, it doesn't come out for no reason. I actually don't get this card out a lot. So it's pretty significant that it came out. And from the Gaia Oracle, and then we'll be finished. Can I get some closing advice, messages, and guidance for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Any closing messages, insight, and guidance for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? Can I get two more cards for the Collective of Cancer for October 2019? bottom of the deck flame tree the start of something new so once again miracles all right you're being led to something new you're getting some kind of new beginning something that is better than whatever this was okay um this is a three this talks about growth and, ex and expansion and ships coming in all right this is new things on the horizon for you be open to it trust it trust yourself Whatever has passed is not going to happen to you again because you, you have the awareness and the intuition and the enlightenment to be able to navigate moving forward so that you never have to deal with this again. So don't even worry about that. Just prepare yourself for this new beginning by healing and releasing all of the negative energy from the situation as much as you can, as gracefully as you can. All right. So we have reflection. Illusion, self-examination, distortion, this is a four. It talks about security, stability, being grounded and solid within you, within a situation. Um, definitely needing to self-reflect just to make sure that one, you're healing, you're, you're gaining like the lessons that you learn from this situation so that once again, you don't have to encounter it again, all right? Because when you, you, when you don't learn the lesson, you have to go through it again until you learn it. That's just how, that's just how karmic lessons, spiritual lessons work, okay? But definitely self-examine. Make sure that you're not any self-illusions and make sure that you're no longer seeing any illusions in the situation and it doesn't look like you have. So just focus on um, healing everything within yourself that may um, be fearful all right, of this happening again. Because like I said, you've already been through it once. Now you know the red signs. Now you know the triggers. Now you know when your intuition is trying to warn you so you don't have to worry about these things anymore. Right, we also have another four, so four, four, 
77, um, 7777, 666, 888, and 44. These are definitely numbers for you to look into. Um, Yin Yang, this talks about creating harmony through balance. So once again, finding balance and harmony within yourself. Focus on that. That is going to help you. Remember earlier I said butterflies. So pay attention to that butterfly. You are definitely transforming into someone new. All right, You're no longer a caterpillar. You're no longer naive. You're transforming into something amazing and miraculous. So you're needing to um, embrace that. Embrace that about yourself and about your journey. Um, we have night wind, facing fear, subconscious release, and healing. So once again, more healing, more releasing, more purging. If you need to cry, cry. <laughs> if you need to pray, if that's something that you do, then do that. Do whatever it is that you need to do that's going to help you to heal and release the situation. All right? You don't want this in your energy so that you don't attract this again. Um, fear. The vacuumary fear. That's another key word on here. So definitely work with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael to help you release your fears. Um, anything that you may be holding on to subconsciously, you know, you can listen to uh, subliminals on YouTube. Uh, even though I think they have like a new rule out about those, but while they're still on there, definitely listen to those to help you release any subconscious negative energies that you may be holding on to. And um, just focus on your healing, okay? I know this is a hard situation. It looks heavy as fuck. And I'm so sorry that you went through that. Um, another number that you have here repeatedly is 555. So definitely look at those numbers. Cancer, baby, I'm, I'm sorry you went through this, okay? But um, it's over. It's passing. Things are looking up for you. And just, just focus on your forward movement, okay? Focus on healing and releasing what you need to release so that you can get your, your new beginning, okay? So... I hope this message resonated with you, even though it's a painful one. I hope that you got some insight, some guidance, some reassurance, some kind of closure from this. And until the next video, I love you and I will see you either next month or for mid-monthlies. All right. I love you.